Right, we got a 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm gonna show y'all how to take off the AC compressor. It's ridiculous. But uh, if you don't know how to take off the belt, look that up, it's pretty simple. Just put a uh, 3 8 ratchet here, relieve tension, pull the belt off. All right, uh, tools, uh, 13 millimeter, long socket, short socket, eight millimeter, uh, six inch extension, ratchet wrench, and what I call the pry off. And then obviously, you know, Milwaukee for the win. All right, let's get into this thing. All right. Well, first we got to remove the intake. So take your eight, loosen this up. I already did most of this stuff. This is just to show y'all. But loosen this up with your eight mil. Unplug the ambient temperature sensor or the intake temperature sensor. That should come right off. There's a clip back here. This pops up. Don't be scared. Cut that off. Move that out the way. Then you'll want to remove this to get a little more access to the compressor. So you just unclip it. This little hose comes off right here. If yours is brittle, don't do that. And then the pry off, I already did this, but right here, your liner, you wanna pry that up and get that out of there. You can pull it out, but be careful not to rip that. And then this is just held in with some little, some like little rubber components. So you kinda of just have to wiggle it. Put your purse down, don't be a woman. And if you are a woman, congrats. Now you got all the space to work with your compressor, removing that. This is where your 13 mils come in handy. So like I said, I already did this. I'm just kind of showing y'all. So obviously vacuum the system first, remove all the Freon out. And then you're gonna hit a 13 mil on here, you know, loosen that one up. Then the 13 mil on this line, loosen that up. I already did this stuff, so. Try to move these lines out the way. Don't forget to replace your O-rings because usually that's a point of failure when going back with new stuff. All right, and then you gotta, this normally has a safety clip on it, but mine was brittle, so it broke off. It's a little red tab that you pull up uh, most of them break off. Obviously, you want to remove that sensor. And then again, this is where the short 13 comes in handy because you still don't have a lot of space. Especially on this back one, but it's already removed. Um, right, you got one bolt here. 13. Then you got one here that's going to be a 13, same exact as this. Then underneath... You gotta kinda use your hands as your eyes, but you got two 13s basically the same way, but they're nuts instead of bolts. So take those off. All right. And then you'll think it comes out, but it won't. There's this line here has like a little tab that sits on one of the studs down there behind the compressor. So you have to go down here. So you come from the front and you'll go down this way and back there. Let me see. It's kind of blurry, but. Let's see. There we go, that bolt there. You'll have to remove that in order for your line to move, uh, to be able to move your line out the way and get that uh, little tab off the stud. And that, that's free to move. And then you think you're done, you know, you think you just removed this. And this is where me and Jeep's engineers are gonna have some words. Cause you're gonna need a specialty socket for this. So you think you could just, you know, pull that right off, but me and Jeep's engineer is gonna have some words about this, dude. Come on, 
couldn't just move this up two inches. You know what I mean? Look at this. All you had to do was move this up two inches. All this free space over here. And you could have pulled it off. But instead, this has to remain up. And again, you're gonna use your hands as your eyes and you're gonna need one of these. I don't know if you can, this is an E-Torx and you'll need a E7 is the size, E-Torx E7. I'll go under here and like I said, you can't really see. And then again, you know, I use my trusty Milwaukee. Stud. Okay, you see this little thing? So, of course, they wanted to add an extra step instead of just moving this freaking thing two inches forward. And now you got to go buy an e-torx if you ain't got one of those. So once we get that done, this will come out. But again, appreciate the extra steps, you know, because it made life simple for everybody. But no, engineers, man. It's a little hot, but now you can remove your last bolt. Catch it. And find whichever route you want to take to fandangle this thing out of here. It's probably the dumbest route I could have took. Could have been simpler from here. Mm -hmm. 